so welcome to the session now we are going to see about uh, pumping lemma for CFL so for this uh, let L be a CFL then there is a constant n depending only on L such that if s uh, if z is in L and z is modulus of z greater than or equal to n then we may write z equal to uh, u v w x y such that uh, mod of v x is greater than 1 and we have uh, three condition and second one is mod 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 of v uh, w x less than or equal to n and for all i is greater than zero u v power i w x power i uh, into y s and l uh, so this is the condition uh, we have to prove whether uh, the given language is uh, safe or not for this we'll have this first uh, example show that the language l equal to uh, a power n b power n uh, c power n uh, such that n is greater than or equal to 0 is not cfl uh, uh, every time whenever we prove this uh, it's not cfl we have to assume uh, particular given languages in cfl so I assume the language l is in cfl and my uh, language l equal to a power n b power n c power n and such that n is greater than or equal to 0 and we can write when I uh, when we use a uh, n equal to 1 we have a b c n equal to 2 our language is uh, like that okay so this is my language uh, so according to pumping lemma we have this according to pumping lemma if z is in l and mod of z is greater than or equal to n so we can z can be written as z can be written as uh, for example uh, if my case if, if suppose if n equal to one if use z equal to so when you put n equal to one you have you're getting a b c so actually uh, according to this pumping lemma on cfl you have to uh, split the language into five parts right so if you put like this n equal to one you are not getting uh, that condition that's why uh, you have to this this statement provides can't be splitted into five terms right so it can't be split it into uh, five terms so that's why you have you're not using that so so for this we have a uh, second thing so uh, if i'm choosing if n equal to four if i'm taking z equal to four a's four b's followed by four c's so uh, after that we'll have this if z equal to u v w x y then z equal to you will have this you have to split this right so now we have to take this uh, exact uh, z so this is our z now so you have to split into five terms right so you have you have to split into five parts so which me which means split into five parts split into five parts So uh, such that if you're having right, uh, so the mod of z is greater than or equal to n. So my n is uh, four, and my mod less of uh, z is greater than uh, my n. Okay. So this is the condition. The first one is mod 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 of z is greater than or equal to n. My n is four actually. So it is that is it uh, length of the z is greater than uh, four. So this first uh, given condition satisfied. After that, we'll have this right. We have to split the terms. For example, here I am taking u equal to a and b equal to a, w equal to b b, x equal to b, and y equal to b c c c. So when you uh, look at this point, right? So when you have this, 
uh, I'm taking this b power i and x power i so uh, when you have this uh, when you split into five parts the changing part will be uh, b power i and x power i and when you take this right so uh, b or x is either in a or b or or in b or c so not on uh, both right so that is the way it has to be uh, done so according to that we have we are having three condition to be checked out so for this we'll have this uh, see here here my u is triple a and this is my v and uh, w is like this and uh, x is 1b and y will be this <coughs> so here u v w x and y so i'm uh, splitting into five parts right so when you have this you have to check according the condition <clears throat> my case is here uh, v w x is less than or equal to n so what is my v here so v mode of v w x is less than or equal to n so which means n is 4 equal uh, n is 4 in our case right so uh, a b b b so my case is here so come it satis it satisfies this uh, second condition and you are having this uh, v x is greater than 1 so what is my v a and x is b so just always here i am taking uh, in our case it is greater than or equal to 1 okay so so this condition is also satisfied since so since i am using this okay so now so what is the third condition for all i is greater than or equal to 0 you have to check u v power i uh, w x power i into uh, y is in particular language or not so now i am going to check the third condition take z equal to u v power i w x power i y that is for all i is greater than or equal to 0 okay so if i'm taking uh, if i equal to 2 right if i'm taking i equal to 2 what is my z is z equal to u v power 2 w x power 2 and y so see here u and what is my v so v i'm taking a so that's why so uh, what is my u here here a right so triple a and v v is a but my uh, i'm taking v uh, v square that is a after the w so w is b b only you are not taking any uh, variation on that and you have uh, x x is on uh, x square so that's why you have b b and y is the remaining thing so b followed by 4c so now check we'll have this 5a and 5b and 4c that is does not belongs to l so if I take let i equal to 3 also check for this whether it is uh, contain the language or not so u v power 3 w x power 3 by for all i is equal to 0 <coughs> right so when you take this so you use a triple a and v here a right so 3 a's w here b double b and x cube you will have uh, three b's after that y you have to use this b followed by 4c so see here 6 uh, a and 6 b and 4c this is also not belong to l so initially i am taking assume uh, ls and cfl but after my checking all this condition all this condition uh, case 1 condition 1 and condition c here condition 1 condition 2 and condition 3 is also uh, i am now i am proving that is uh, the given thing does not belong to this particular language so therefore therefore uv square w x square y and u 
v cube w x cube y is not in L. So which which means it's a contradiction, which is contradiction. of taking the assumption initially taking the assumption initially in cfl right so we conclude that concluding here the given language is not in context free language so this is the way you have to prove it see here thank you